if you were to like start right now, let's say like MDS just like showed up on the scene right now. Like you don't have any clients, you don't have any experience. It's 2024 and you have to start like getting into it right now. What would you do right now? Like, is there a different way you would go about it? Because I feel like you and me have similar stories. We kind of fell into it. And I went from like graphic design to web design, web design to UI and started kind of just following into things and following curiosity. But is there anything that you would intentionally do right now if you if everything was brand new? Well, the first thing I would do is decide what is most important. Do I need to earn money? Do I need to earn followers? If I do need to earn followers, why? If I, you know, and I think ultimately if if the number one thing I need right now is to pay bills, then I'm going to go look for actual work. I'm going to be like scanning who's who's hiring designers, putting my, you know, getting my portfolio together, trying to figure out what kind of work that I want to do, but also like applying for everything. And I think a lot of that would have little to do with like prioritizing a social media presence. Maybe, maybe you, you know, post a few things from here and here and there, but it's not all about content strategy and, you know, DM me the word client if you want to get, you know, on my client list or whatever. Um, so I think it really boils down for me. This is kind of how I always thought about it was like, what do I need to do right now? Do I need to earn money? Do I need to, maybe I've got, you know, six months of cash in the bank and I can play around on social media a little bit more. Maybe I'll I'll work on that product or I can, you know, raise my rates for, for clients that are coming in and asking for things that I would normally charge this. Now I'm going to see if they'll respond to this and if they will, great. If not, no big deal because I'm booked up anyway. Um, so I think it's kind of a somewhat of a cop out answer, but I would want to at least define the goal of what exactly I'm trying to do first before. No, I that's started. not a cop out answer. I love that answer because I, I do think that it's like you said earlier, it's a really noisy like environment. It's a really noisy space right now where everybody is just broadcasting and communicating lots of stuff online. And I think setting priorities and saying like, hey, listen, like building an Instagram following that maybe that's like some sort of awesome thing in the future, but like what's paying the bills right now and how do we kind of position ourselves to do what actually matters right now? There's some strategic thinking that is like taking place there, right? Like you can't, you can't rush the the process. You can't build level three until you've built level one, then two. So like in your, in your kind of experience, because now you're somebody who is, I mean, I think we're, we are both in somewhat of a similar boat, like still doing some client work, but also venturing out and maybe creating content or creating educational like resources for people kind of diversifying what we do. Right. And I think a lot of people see that diversification in somebody like you and go like, I need to be making courses, doing the things all at one time. But how does, you know, how do we kind of like tell people to kind of focus and, and when does that come about? When's the right time to maybe start diversifying and doing some stuff like you're doing? Yeah. I mean, it's so dependent on the individual that it's tough to give, you know, just blanket advice. But I know in in my own experience, my very first digital product was like some kind of like wireframing with Illustrator and InDesign little template. And this is like pre-Sketch, pre-Figma. Most people were still designing websites and apps in Photoshop. So if you're old enough to remember, I mean, I look back to what we used to do in Photoshop and I'm like, oh my gosh. Brutal. You like give me, even Adobe XD wasn't even a thing. Like, you know, XD just got sunsetted. So, but even that would have been a great alternative to Photoshop during the time. 